did, and somebody was walking by my window freaking me out. So I thought I would turn this, like, sort of simple, glamorous look into a crazy look. Because why not do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So what I have on my face so far is just my foundation from NYX. That's my HD foundation in nude with my Mica Beauty mineral foundation in porcelain. Um, and some contouring done with some Mary Kay uh, mineral foundations in bronze and bronze one and bronze three. Eyebrows are Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in amber, in amber, in auburn, with some dark brown from icing stores. And I have some Kat Von D eyeliner on and some mascara, which we might need to do. So I'm just gonna add to this look with some fun colors. Um, especially for St. Patrick's Day, because why the heck not? St. Patrick's Day is a great holiday, so for my eyeshadows, I'm going to use my Mica, my Mica Beauty Shimmer Shadows. This one is an Insistence, which is a fabulous color. It's a really good. I love this color. Just, look how bright it is. It's kind of a bluey green, this dog makes my life so hard. I'm also going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil. And this is in Rocky Mountain Green, which is fantastic. And then also Arctic White from Micah Beauty. That's probably my favorite, most used color. I tried a new beer today. It's called Hop Hunter IPA. It's for a I think it's a limited edition from Sierra Nevada, and it's brewed with farm distilled hop oil, and it is so hoppy. I love, if anybody knows me, they know I love hoppy. So let's just get into this. So first, I'm going to uh, put some insistence on my eyes, just saying I'm pretty insistent about it. I'm going to use this smudge brush. It is from Icing. It's a duo brush, smudger and eyeshadow makes no sense because a smudge brush is for your eyeshadow. It's for your eyeshadow. Okay, anyway. Uh, what else would you use a smudger brush for? I guess you can use it for eyeliner, but I mean, so that one in your eyes. Inside of your eyes, definitely. That's where I'm going to put it. Okay. So. That's horrible looking, but just go with it. I'm just putting it on sloppy right now. One thing that I love about Mica Beauty is that their colors are so hyper pigmented, like so bright. I don't ever use an eye primer. Like I own, I totally own, I'm, I'm closing my eye, I do that all the time. I own the Mica Beauty eye primer and I use it on my lips to make lipsticks from their eyeshadows. Okay, let's get a round brush up in here. Round brush. That's important for my life. Getting my mirror situated. Okay, so let's do this. Why is it when I put my, found, my eyeshadow on, it's always higher on one side than the other? I don't know. I'll try to even it out. It's way high on that side. I don't know like, how high it is on that side. So I'm just gonna like blend that away. More color. We're still not even. Let's figure this out. I just have to add some more color. Right there. Done. Cool. Perfect. Okay. So my eyes are even. They are green. I don't know if you can tell, but they are green. Um, so that's all the insistence I'm going to use. Now I'm going to go in with my next pencil and work on my crease a little bit.
I love how creamy the pencils are. Plus, they're only like $5 with tax, which is pretty insane. Okay, so I've got crease on that side. And on that side. Okay, this side I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer. To the inside. Oh, I got like a whole big chunk of it. Okay. Okay, perfect. And now, very important, Arctic White. Because a lot of. Val oh, not Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day. St. Patrick's Day's looks are green and white, right? So let's get a little green and white up in the hole. Use my same brush. I just rubbed it off a little bit. I'm going to add this to the center of my eyelid. It's nice and white. I'm gonna build that pigment up a little bit more. I could also wet my brush and use it as a cream, but I'm lazy and I don't even have water over here, so that's not that's not what's happening. So that's my that's my eyeshadow so far. If I wanted to add a little Arctic white as a brow highlight, I could do that too. Up here. See that? Blend that in with the green. It's pretty fun. Okay, and so to kind of help my eyes pop, because we love to pop the eyes, I'm going to use some white liquid liner. This is from Lime Crime, Lunar C Uniliner. And I'm gonna do that at the top and the bottom of my lashes. I'm gonna do it above my black eyeliner. Liquid liner is kind of obnoxious. It takes a minute to dry, especially if you're not doing it right on the lash line if you open your eye all the way with wet liquid liner on it, it'll make a little line on the top of your eye also, especially if you have like hooded eyes. But the other nice thing is, while it's still wet, you can just wipe it off if you don't like where, where it's headed. Okay, we'll do the bottom side now. And turn it into a tiny wing. I suck at winged eyeliner. I try every day. They never even. Okay, the eyeliner on this side looks insane, and this side, I don't know what's happening. So I'm just gonna take the smudger brush that I had my insistence on and kind of smudge it through the bottom of my eyelashes. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, cool. Um, and then I'm just going to add some more mascara. And I think this is a pretty fun look to do for St. Patrick's Day. bring this um the bottom eyeliner out a little bit further I think that looks a lot more fun and I'm also gonna blend it in a little bit further and just do kind of like a big blown out green smoky eye as well. that's what I would call that that's pretty fun Play with, around with it. Um, trying to think. A good lip color for this would be sort of a neutral or a peach. Try Cosmo Pop. So that would be my um, simple cut crease St. Patrick's Day makeup. 